we need to take some safety precautions here. Personally, didn't know what we needed to do, but um, we sent Brock to go light the fire because he didn't have any hair to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have back hair. <laughs> Like the energy was seriously crazy. Oh, well, Brock was so excited he fell over his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about people that. dancing on the like oh. the, on tractors and fire behind us. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a rush. That was intense. That was probably the most thrilling, I would say, music video for me personally that we've ever had. The other thing was was the heat coming off it. Like oh, when yeah. we we set up a long ways away from the bar and thinking, ah, this is gonna be far enough, but there was a lot of heat. We had the star of the show, uh, Marsha. She's a Polish chicken, and she has white feathers tipped with a little bit of gray. I had to catch her in the coop that morning and then bring her to the road that she wanted to cross <laughs> to get to the party. So um, we were trying to get Marsha across the road, and she went in every direction that we did not want her to go. <laughs> Just a little rebel chicken. And at one point, we actually set her down to go this way, and she turned around and went right through <laughs> the legs in the opposite direction. There was also actually a moment where, because she was not having it, she just sat on the road. <laughs> and we have footage of this. Instead of running anywhere, she just plunked herself down. Strong, independent woman. She <laughs> knew what she wanted. The wings um, were delicious, though. <laughs> No chickens harmed yeah. in the Polish filming of this so video. Uh, we couldn't get our hands on a stunned chicken, so we had to film this in two separate shots and then cut Marsha out frame by frame and then composite her in post-production into the other shot with the truck. Our good friend Adler Irwin of Irwin Films has been a mainstay for us in the last couple of years for video directing. Um, going back and forth with him has been an amazing process. Um, being able to think of the ideas creatively and break down exactly what we're going to do leading into the videos. One of the things we talked about quite extensively too with Adler was the idea of having a lot of different camera angles because once that barn goes up you only have one crack at it. So how can we best capture the moment in the most effective way because there's no redos. From drone shots to multiple camera angles and people who are running around with cameras during the day. <laughs> I didn't even know what all was being captured because there was so much going on. We had some technical issues uh, in the midst of the day because in order to fabricate the smoke, we had um, a geyser there which shoots smoke into the air to replicate the effect of the barn burning down or like it's started burning. Let's just burn one of these things and leave it in the curtain. In the Natural bird. And actually, I think we had multiple fog machines being delivered that were 30 minutes away. And there's not a lot of fog machines in Jonathan, Saskatchewan. Hey, Rocco. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, Brad. It was a little hot in there, but there was just all of these little details um, that went together for um, everything to, to transpire. Uh, Kristen and Lizzie, a couple of our wives, were also running around on the hospitality front, and then everybody else was looking after the children. So it was a complete group effort, and there was a lot of people in the process that we were very grateful for. We actually had the outlaw dance crew from Calgary, Alberta, who does a lot of work at the Stampede, and that was kind of a more of a last minute addition, but we figured it would be fun to have more pieces to the story and have lifts and all sorts of things that we never would have tackled um, and, you know, actually added a tremendous amount to the video. They were very, very fun to work with, um, added a lot of energy all day. We had uh, friends of ours in the area here, Hannah and Clayton and Taylor, um, who joined us all day um, to make the video happen as well. Hannah carried a chicken around for a good portion of the day, so. <laughs> Betty didn't know a hundred years ago Tonight it's gonna get a little uh, As far as high emotion, when those flames started Woo! 
<laughs> tearing that barn down, and the music was seconds. playing. Fifteen yeah, seconds. It was, before it was. Brock was the one that lit the barn, and he had hardly got out of the barn, and the whole backside was was already engulfed in flames. And so him sprinting back to their location where we were playing, and then just the energy, the barn burning, the music playing, uh, wanting to get that energy across uh, was all. It, it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. There were a lot of safety precautions taken that day. Yeah, we took our disc out with the tractor and made sure that uh, it was black soil that wouldn't start on fire, and uh, definitely took uh, safety precautions that we figured were uh, were necessary. Water truck. Yeah, had the water truck. The the barn on the the scene it was uh, it was a neat old barn, but it was quite dilapidated and uh, didn't have, like, obviously much life left in it anyway and hadn't been used for a very long time. And so uh, the floor was just a, a dirt floor. And, and uh, so, yeah, we went in and kind of built a bit of a, built a bit of a floor in it and made sure that it was sturdy enough to uh, closed up some of the, some of the uh, holes in the side and, and that sort of thing, just to prep it for the video. Um, Cut the rafters. Yeah. Brought some hay bales in. Yep. Yep. <laughs> burn it down. We thought if we put it on a video, then uh, it'll immortalize that barn and uh, we will never forget it that way. So some weird way by burning it down, you might forget it, but by having it on video, you'll never forget it either. So we will <laughs> remember. <laughs> we will remember you, barn. Nice. Oh, Nineteen twelve to twenty twenty three.